Hello everyone. Once again welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video we are going to understand static routing implementation in IPv6. As you know how to configure a static routing with IPv4. In IPv4 we have multiple way to configure IPv4 static routing. Like we can configure a static routing by using next hop IP address. We can configure a static routing by using uh, exit interface. You can configure a static routing by using both next hop IP address and uh, exit interface in case of ipv6 also we have multiple way to implement a static routing like we can configure a static routing static routing by next hop ip address ip address and you know here we have two option either we can configure static routing by using next hop IP address in case of IPv6. So next hop IP address is here we have two types of next hop IP address. One is next hop IP address is global unicast IP address and one is link local IP address. But when you configure static routing by using next hop IP address by using next hop by using link local address that time you need to define exit interface as well because directly you cannot define the link local IP, IPv6 address. So syntax of configuring IPv6 address by using next hop IP address is IPv6 route. As you know to configure IPv4 static routing we run command IP route after that network remote network. So here our syntax will be IPv6 route after that destination network means remote network after that next hop IP address. So next hop IP address can be your link local IP address LL A. So if next hop IP address is link local address then first you will provide exit interface IP address exit interface and then you can provide the link local IP address or directly you can define IPv6 route after that destination network destination network and then next hop IP address next hop IP right this is not link local address this is your global unicast address the second way is IP v6 route after that exit interface exit interface and the third option is fourth option actually fourth option is IPv6 route destination network here also you will define the destination network and here also you will define the destination network after that next up exit interface plus next hop IP address next hop IP address like this. So we have actually four way to configure a static routing in case of IPv6. So as you can see this is my topology here. Let me make you familiar with this topology first. Here you can see I am using network 2001 colon db8 colon 1234 colon 10 double colon slash 64 network in LAN 1 this is my let's say LAN 1 this is LAN 2 and this is LAN 2 LAN 3 in LAN 2 I am using colon 20 double colon slash 24 and here I am using colon 30 double colon slash 64 okay so I will use IP address in LAN 1 from this subnet and here you can see on the PC I will not go I am not going to configure the IP address statically this PC will get IP address from the router itself okay on the router interface here you can see I am I will configure I I, I think I have already configured IP address double colon hundred double colon hundred and double colon 100 on the LAN interface of all router I am using double colon 100 okay here 
बिटवीन डॉटर वन एंड डॉटर टू आई एम यूजिंग आई पी एड्रेस फ्रॉम टू डबल जीरो वन कॉलन डी बी एट कॉलन वन टू थ्री कॉलन टूवेल्व डबल कॉलन सिक्सटी फोर हियर आई एम यूजिंग ट्वेंटी थ्री डबल कॉलन सिक्सटी फोर डन एंड गाइज लेट मी शो यू वन मोर थिंग हियर आई एम यूजिंग डबल कॉलन वन हियर आई विल यूज डबल कॉलन टू टू हियर आई विल यूज डबल कॉलन टू दिस साइड ऑल्सो लेट मी डुप्लीकेट इट हियर ऑल्सो डबल कॉलन टू एंड हियर आई विल यूज डबल कॉलन थ्री बाय यूजिंग द राउटर आई डी डन सो आई थिंक आई हैव ऑलरेडी कन्फिगर द आई पी आर डेस्ट लेट मी वेरीफाई दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑन डॉटर नंबर वन इनेबल सो आई पी वी सिक्स इंटरफेस ब्रीफ नो यू कैन सी आई हैव ऑलरेडी कन्फिगर द आई पी आर डेस्ट ऑन एफ जीरो स्लैश जीरो माई आई पी आर डेस इज टू डबल जीरो वन कॉलन डी बी एट कॉलन वन टू थ्री फोर कॉलन टेन डबल कॉलन वन हंड्रेड right this is the link local address this is the link local address of fast ethernet 1/0 this is the global unique unicast address of f1/0 done let me check let me take access of all routers guys router 2 also here also you can verify the ip enable so ip ipv6 interface brief so here also i already configured ip address on router number 3 i think so also i have configured the ip address enable so ipv6 interface brief so i have already configured ipv6 address on all router let me check the vpc the pcs are getting ip address or not so to configure ip address on vpc just you need to run command ip auto let me check that this pc are getting ip and no router okay so i think ipv6 routing is not enable on router so that's why this pc are not getting ipv6 address so this is link local address only okay so let me do one thing on router number 1 let me run one command ipv6 unicast routing because now if you will check that so ipv6 interface f0/0 this router is not advertising any rms right so this router should advertise rms this router have joined this multicast group this multicast group solicited multicast group okay now config t ipv6 unicast routing and so ipv6 interface fast ethernet 0/0 now you can see this interface is advertising rms is okay let me do same thing on rest router on router number 2 also ipv6 unicast routing on router number 3 also let me run ipv6 unicast routing command ipv6 unicast routing done now vpcs can get ip address from the router ip auto now you can see this router ip address is this one done guys in the same way vpc2 can also get ip address from the router let me assign one ip address over here as well ip auto done on vpc3 ip auto and on vpc4 see in first video this is first video of routing of ipv6 so we are discussing static routing in next video we will configure rip then we will configure eigrp ospf we will understand trouble shooting we are going to learn each and everything about ipv6 you will be master in ipv6 after this series 6 let me configure ipv6 on this row this pvc ip auto done so ip configuration on all pc all router is done now let me configure the routing because see vpc1 
कैन पिंग द गेट वे पिंग टू डबल जीरो वन कॉलन डी बी एट कॉलन वन टू थ्री फोर डबल कॉलन वन हंड्रेड इट कैन पिंग दिस आई पी एड्रेस बट इट कैन नोट पिंग वी पी सी थ्री लेट मी चेक वट इज द आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ वी पी सी थ्री वी पी सी थ्री इज यूजिंग दिस आई पी एड्रेस सो लेट मी पिंग दिस आई पी एड्रेस फ्रॉम पी सी नंबर वन सो वेर इज पी सी वन हेयर इट इज पिंग let me wait 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 destination is no true tableable okay this pc is not able to ping the vpc3 it is not able to ping this ip address also let me check the ip 1 2 3 4 1 100 why this machine is not able to ping their default gateway let me check the interfaces up or not interfaces up that's why this uh, pc get ip address so ipv6 interface brief this interface is up up let me copy the ip address from here okay here we have 10 okay so ping and this ip address now you can see this pc means pc1 is able to ping the gateway ip address right but it is not able to ping vpc3 this ip address because route is not available router 1 does not does does not have the route for this network so what i am going to do on router number 1 first of all i am going to configure the static routing let me configure the static routing i i am going to make you understand the default routing configuration as well don't worry guys okay ipv6 route after that destination network 2001 colon db8 colon 1234 colon 2064 slash 64 and if you will put question mark over here you are getting lots of option right so what you can do first thing is you can define the exit interface f1 slash 0 this is also a way to configure ipv6 routing now do so ipv6 route you can see there is one static route done and it is saying that this network is directly connected so the same problem like ipv4 so i am going to remove this command from here say no and this time what i am going to do i am going to use next hop ip address so next hop ip address is 2001 colon db 8 colon 1 2 3 colon 12 double colon 2 right do so ipv6 route now you can see a static route this network is reachable via via this ip address via this ip address i am going to remove this entry as well say no and if you want to define the both you can define both here you can define the exit interface that is f1/0 done do so ipv6 route now you can see everything is available over here exit interface as well and next of ip address so this is the actual way to configure static routing in ipv4 also and in ipv6 also after that we need to define one more network over here ipv6 route which network 2001 colon db8 colon 1234 colon 30 so double colon slash 64 exit interface will be same f1 slash 0 and next hop ip address will be also same 2001 colon db8 colon 1234 colon 12 double colon 2 done so this is how we configure static routing in case of ipv6 now i am going to uh, you know put the syntax in notepad so that it will be, be uh, it will be very easy to run the command on routers so on router number 2 we will run ipv6 route 
after that 2001 colon db8 colon 1234 colon 10 double colon slash 64 and exit interface will be f1 slash 0 for this and next of ip address will be 2001 so i am going to copy the rest thing from here till here everything is same in the next hop ip address colon 12 double colon 1 after that let me copy it and let me paste it ipv6 it will be 30 and for this network exit interface will be not f1 slash 0 exit interface will be f2 slash 0 and next hop ip address will be 23 double colon 3 so i am going to paste these two command on router number 2 let me take you to router number 2 and paste it so ipv6 route there is two static route available one is this one and one is this one done now i need to configure static route on r3 so 20010 next next exit interface will be f1 slash 0 on router number 3 also and next hop ip address will be 123 colon 23 double colon 2 right and for 20 network for 20 for this entry exit interface will be 23 double colon 2 right let me copy it and let me paste it on r3 done guys so routing this is how we configure routing routing is done on all routers now let me verify that vpcs are able to ping with each other or not let me ping vpc3 first now you can see there is connectivity now i am going to copy ip address of vpc5 this is the ip address of vpc5 and let me ping vpc5 from vpc1 ping this ip address now you can see there is reachability so this is how we configure static routing in ipv6 very easy like ipv4 in next video we will discuss ipv6 configuration with rip okay guys that's all for today if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel i am uploading this type of video every day thanks for watching bye bye